My name's Blake Percival and I'm just a guy from Alabama. And I bet you're asking yourself, how did this guy wind up involved in one of the largest frauds in our country's national security background investigation history? There were 665,000 national security background investigations that were falsified. Of those, two of them stand out. Edward Snowden, the NSA leaker, and Aaron Alexis, the Navy Yard shooter, who went to the Navy Yard in Washington, D.C., murdered 12 people and then committed suicide. And this morning, sources tell CBS News that a new congressional report exposes major flaws in government background checks. Nearly 5 million Americans hold some kind of security clearance. Justice Department has now accused the government's largest private security background check contractor of defrauding the country of millions of dollars. Over 90% of the background investigations for both government employees and contractors are conducted by the Office of Personnel Management, including all background investigations for members of the military and defense department, civilian and contractors. Now the company has a $200 million contract with the U.S. government to conduct and review background checks, a contract it could lose if a federal investigation finds the company rushed background checks. In the wake of continued releases by whistleblower Edward Snowden, Federal prosecutors and the FBI suspect that the firm hired the clear Snowden, USIS, may have blundered his background check by cutting corners. The complaint charges that the company used its close ties with the federal government to conceal its practice of flushing or dumping background checks. In 2011, I found myself in a situation where I had to decide in a split second, would I do what was right for me and my family or would I do what was best for our country, the land that I love? Even when you know that you're doing the right thing, that doesn't mean it's easy. But doing the right thing is never wrong.